So now let's get into that uh, that news. We got the story from Real Clear Politics. Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot, FOP president, is attempting to induce an insurrection by opposing vaccine mandate. I just love that line. She said, we believe that the fraternal order of police leadership is trying to foment an illegal work stoppage or strike. She said, we are not having that. The contract is clear. The police unions are not authorized to strike. What we've seen from the fraternal order of police leadership is a lot of misinformation and frankly, flat out lies in order to induce an insurrection. What? And we're not having that. The law is on our side. We feel very confident about it. Urging members of the department to ignore the chain of command. Let me be clear. John Catanzaro has destroyed his police career, destroyed it. He is not fit and he is never going to go back in any kind of active position. I don't want him to lend to, to lead these young officers astray and have them destroy their careers like he has destroyed his. I just love the idea of an executive issuing an order by decree. And then when someone says, I object, that's an insurrection. Well, that's what we get. Did you guys see in Seattle, the cops have started flying the Gadsden flags? Yeah, I saw yeah. that. It's nice. become a thing now. And the Southwest Airlines mm-hmm. uh, as well, posting a lot of photos of the Gadsden flags inside of uh, the airplanes there. But but this is nothing new from Lori Lightfoot. I mean, I, I am seeing a lot of comments uh, talk about uh, Beetlejuice in the comment section. Just for <laughs> clarification, uh, I think it's important to bring up some of these facts. But this is the same mayor that we have to understand uh, just a couple of months ago, during the middle of, of the whole COVID crisis, when she was telling everyone to stay home, we need to lock down, we need to punish people. She was walking the streets being like, go home right now. She also went out there and defied her own decrees and went and got a haircut and then told everyone, well, I need a haircut. I'm out in the public eye. And th- it's important for me to flaunt these rules that I made good. up that you have to obey. She, another she, bloody weekend yeah. in Chicago. Wait, oops. As at least four- uh, but, you know what I think? Just, just real quick. I think the funny thing is, they wanted to defund the cops. Mm-hmm. So all these guys are saying, hey, we're not going to come to work. This is to, this should be the easiest solution. She should be in favor of this. Great. Yeah. We wanted to defund you anyway. But it's funny. Once they say we're not coming to work, now it's you guys are an insurrection. I mean, you can't have it both ways. Either you defund them and you don't want them to show up and you don't like them. But suddenly now it's I care about them. And I can't believe they're not showing up for work. This is why I refer to the establishment. It's mostly the Democrats in the media as the cult, because it doesn't matter what their position was. It just matters what the whim is today. Before it was like the police are bad. Okay, everybody, I agree with whatever you've said for whatever reason. Defund the police. Now all of a sudden the cops are like, we're going to walk. And they're like, no, no, you can't leave. That's an insurrection. There's no real principle behind what they do. No, it's just fall in line behind the establishment, behind those in charge. But, but to elaborate on the Lori Lightfoot thing that Luke mentioned, Lori Lightfoot literally just posted this yesterday at 524 p.m. It's an image of her violating Chicago's mask, mask mandates. So, you know, you, you, you ask, who's, who's doing the insurrection? The people who are breaking the laws of this country, violating the Constitution, trying to rule by decree, not even following their own rules? 